Hello, I'm Barry Rhodes. What do you do if your ball comes to rest against the roots of a tree, or in the middle of a bush, or is stuck in mud off the fairway? In other words, what do you do if your ball is unplayable? Well first, it's you that is the sole judge as to whether your ball is unplayable, and you can do so anywhere on the course other than in a water hazard. Of course, if you do deem your play ball unplayable, you have to accept that there is a penalty of one stroke to take the three options for relief. This is all covered in Rule 28, one of the shortest but most important rules in the rule book. Let's examine three cases where the ball is unplayable. On my whiteboard, which isn't drawn to scale, I have a green, a bunker, a tree and a bush. And the player is playing from this point, this represents his stance, and that's the point where the ball is. So in the first instant, the player shanks his ball and it ends up right behind the trunk of a tree. He could, of course, try and play it backwards, but there's no real advantage to do so. It's probably better in this case, rather than going back and playing from where he played his last shot from, to take a relief under Rule 28 and drop his ball within two club lengths, not nearer the hole than where his ball lies. So in other words, a radius of two club lengths from where the ball is at rest. That's option C under Rule 28. If his ball is in the tree, he has the same relief. He can take relief from a point underneath where his ball is at rest in the tree, providing he can identify his ball. If he hasn't been able to identify the ball, then he has to continue as though it was a lost ball and go back to the place where he last played from under stroke and distance. But if he can identify the ball, he doesn't have to find or doesn't have to use the ball, he can drop another ball at the point within two club lengths, not near the hole. In the second case, the player hits his ball and it ends up in the middle of a bush. Now in this case, it's not going to help him to drop his ball within two club lengths because he can't drop the ball within two club lengths and get outside the bush. So that's of no, no use to him at all. In this case, his option will be to take a line from the flag stick down here through where his ball is at rest and drop a ball anywhere on an extension of that line, not near the hole, obviously. So that's option B under Rule 28. The third case is where the player plays his ball and it sticks in the lip, lip of a bunker. He gets up to the bunker and he decides, I can't play it from there, it's all unplayable. Now he still has the three options, he can go back to here and play again, or he can drop a ball within two club lengths, not near the hole, but it must be in the bunker. Now there, at that point, anywhere is within two club lengths, so it's fine. But if the ball was lying there, he cannot drop the ball, even though it's within two club lengths, outside of the bunker. It's a common misunderstanding that players can drop their ball on a line outside the bunker for one penalty stroke. You can't do that. The third option then is to take a line from the flag stick through the ball and drop a ball, but the line stops at the bunker. He has to drop the ball in the bunker. So these are the three different options under Rule 28 for taking relief for an unplayable ball. You can take your shot from where you played your last stroke from. You can take relief within two club lengths of, not, of where the ball lies, not near the hole or you can take a line from the hole through the point where the ball is at rest and go back as long as far as you like along that line. If your ball is in the bunker under options B and C, you must drop the ball in the bunker. I hope you've learned something from this short video. If you have, then I encourage you to go to www.barryroads.com where there are other videos and a lot of information and content which will help you understand the rules better Enjoy your game more and save strokes. Goodbye.